I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's almost like they they stick on themselves really nicely and they build on themselves really nicely. Hey guys, welcome back. So a couple of you requested a review on the L'Oreal Colorish Mono eyeshadows, I believe that they are called. And so I thought I would do that for you guys today because I've actually picked up several of them. Like I've included, oh, probably half of them in hauls, but then I've added on a few more. So I think I have seven now. So I'm gonna run through the seven colors that I have, show you swatches, tell you some of my favorites, and just give you my overall review on these eyeshadows. So let's jump into it. So as far as pricing and packaging on these, pricing kind of varies based on where you purchase them. I bought some of mine at Bed Bath & Beyond, and I think they were around $4.50-ish or so there. And then I've gotten quite a few more at Walgreens, and they were $5.99. But then sometimes they would have a coupon, which would make them $4.99. So somewhere in the 450 to 6ish dollar range is the price point on these. So I think it's an affordable price on them, which is really nice. As far as the packaging, I mean it's functional, it's fine, uh, feels sturdy. It's kind of a little bit typical drugstore sort of a look to them. And then you open them up and they almost look like they're kind of like pressed into their pan, almost like you pressed a pigment or something because they kind of like spill out over the top of them. Kind of interesting, but um, yeah, I think the packaging is just fine. So let's just jump into some swatches of the colors that I've gotten. So first is 203 Cafe Olay. This is the only matte one that I have from this range, but it is really nice and buttery. I do have this on today as my crease color. It is nice. This is kind of like a cool toned, sort of um, a medium to light toned brown. Kind of reminds me of, is it Tease from Urban Decay? The Naked 2 palette, I think. I haven't swatched them next to each other, but it kind of reminds me of that. So really pretty shade. Next I've got 207 Pan au Chocolat. This was one of the first ones that I got and kind of made me fall in love with these. This one is like a really beautiful, kind of purpley, taupe color. It is amazing. Oh my gosh. I love this one. Isn't that amazing? It is so metallic and beautiful. It's awesome. Then I've got 208 Violet Beauté. This one is kind of a like plummy kind of a shade. Yeah, like a plummy burgundy kind of color. It is gorgeous. Again, this one kind of has a sheen to it, like a metallic shimmer sheen to it, and it does have some little um, micro shimmer. So it's kind of got a lot of like different things happening with it. That one looks gorgeous with the Pano Chocolat. It is an amazing combination. I love them. This one's beautiful. This is one of the most recent ones that I've gotten. This is 204 Quartz Fume. Quartz Fume? 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 I really need to start looking up how to pronounce things before I just try and butcher it every single time. But this one is a gorgeous kind of chocolatey, cool toned brown. It is amazing. I love this one. Again, it pairs, look at all those. They all pair so nicely together. And I've been doing that with these, kind of like mixing different ones and they blend nicely together and I love them. They work really well together. Now we're going to get into some fun colors. This one is 212 Green Promenade. I have this on my eyes today. This is kind of just a smoky, I almost want to say a taupey green, but it's really not. I mean, it's a green, but it has almost like a grayish tint to it. It's kind of a muted green and it's got like a little bit of like a silvery tint to it. Yeah, like a gray silver. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this one. It's really kind of a unique shade. It kind of changes a little bit based on um, kind of how you look at it. It's gorgeous, very metallic. This next one's kind of more of an emerald teal sort of a shade. This is 213 Teal Couture. And this one is definitely more vibrant than the other one. That one's just, that other one we just looked at is way more gray silver. This one's like a a bright turquoisey teal color. This one takes a little bit more building, so it's not quite as buttery as the other ones in texture. So I would say that the texture on this one isn't quite as good as the others, 
but it is still a really pretty color. It's just gonna take probably a better base and a little bit more building. Lastly, I have this really pretty vibrant blue. This is 211 Grand Bleu. Did I say that right? Grand Bleu? I don't know. But this one is gorgeous. It does take some building, but it's just a vibrant kind of jewel toned royal blue. Oh my gosh, really beautiful. And again, I've worn this one with the kind of like more brownish sort of shades. So it pairs nicely with other colors. I love doing like a really pretty bright blue on the lid and then blending it with browns. I think it just makes a really beautiful statement eye look. So that's gorgeous. That would even, even look really pretty with that one too. Yeah, so there are all the swatches. So as far as the texture goes on these and just my overall review, they have a really interesting texture. They are a powder, but they almost have a cream sort of a feeling to them, but they're not a cream. They're just like the complete opposite of a powdery eyeshadow. They don't um, fly away everywhere. And you know, you can get some like crumbling, almost like a pigment would. Um, they just, they have that very almost thick sort of feeling. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's almost like they they stick on themselves really nicely and they build on themselves really nicely. So if you've ever used sleek eyeshadows, these feel a lot like the sleek eyeshadows where they just have that almost slightly, not tacky feeling, but just a thick feeling to them, opposite of powdery. So they're really, really an interesting but nice texture and they build on themselves really nicely so that metallic finish just gets more intensified. I really do like these. I don't like them as much as the L'Oreal Infallibles. Those are still my favorites, but I do like these a lot. I think they have a really nice texture. They wear really well throughout the day. I do have to prime my eyes well, but that's pretty much across the board. I have to prime my eyes really well with pretty much everything that I use on my eyes, so I do have to prime well with these, but I notice that they wear well throughout the day. Some of them, like this one, I noticed it faded a little bit quicker than some of the other ones. The metallic ones seem to stay around a little bit um, better, like the super metallic ones, like this green one and the Pano Chocolat, those really do seem to adhere and stay around longer, whereas this one, not quite as much. This one faded a little bit, so maybe the colors seem to have a little bit more issue, but overall, I found that they stay around really well, especially those metallic ones. So yeah, overall, I really do like these. I think that they're great eyeshadows. I would love that they added more colors to the range. I hope they keep adding more to the L'Oreal Infallible range since those are still my overall favorites, but I like them both together. Like you can kind of use them in conjunction. So I like them both. I'm, I'm fine bringing in some new eyeshadow friends with my L'Oreal Infallibles. So yeah, I really like these. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what you are thinking about these eyeshadows. What are some of your favorite shades in the range? I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.